Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I want to help you understand what's going on with your cucumber plant leaves and a way of treating it and fixing the problem. This group of cucumbers here is I think my third planting. In general, they're doing pretty well. There's some yellow leaf die off down there. That's perfectly normal. There's a pattern on the leaves that are starting and you can see the yellow mark there, some dark marks there. And that leads to a leaf that's going to turn yellow, it's going to get all these brown spots on there. And the question is, what is that? Is it a viral disease? Is it an issue um, with a fungus? And it's not. When you flip this leaf over, you can see how it's pretty much being eaten. And I don't see them on here, but this is damage from leaf hoppers, Little green insects that fly around or hop around. And what they do is they get on the underside, they chew the leaves, and it leaves this mark. I mean, it literally looks like something came in and just ate the bottom portion of the leaf. You can see a little one crawling around. Some of them are really small. And then as it heats up, you know, the summer sun beats down, you start getting this pattern, and then the leaf dies off. Let's see if we can find more. Here's that, those same markings. That's really being caused from what's going on underneath the plant, underneath the leaf. And they're hard to see, but there are little insects on there. Well, there's a caterpillar. Always good to inspect your plants. We'll get rid of that for sure. I'm going to look it up, make sure it's not something I want to keep in the garden. And you're really looking for the undersides of the leaves. All that pattern, all that chewing pattern is a problem. Caterpillars will chew your leaves too. But this is really about leaf hoppers coming in. And let me show you what the damage can do. The treatment, if you don't want to continue watching, is to spray the underside with peppermint oil spray. Um, I sell peppermint oil at my seed shop or rosemary oil, combination of both. But it's one or two teaspoons of peppermint oil, rosemary oil, or combined in one gallon of water with some soapy water to spray and really just irritate and repel the leaf hoppers underneath. You can put down some insect dust on the outer leaves, but remember, the leaf hoppers, spider mites, big problems for cucumbers are usually on the undersides. And I find that the peppermint oil spray does really, really well in repelling them and treating it. So you definitely want to get that down now. This is my first wave of cucumber plants I planted. A good six weeks, eight weeks older than the leaves we were just looking at. A couple cucumbers on there to come off. And you can see what happens is the leaves die off where they've been chewed underneath, start to yellow out, and the leaf hoppers can really do damage. If it's not leaf hoppers, it could be spider mites, as I was mentioning. I haven't been able to find them because I did spray, but you'll note the leaf hopper you'll see. I mean, it's a nice bright green. There's one right in there. I think it's going to be hard to see. I'll try and get it with the magnifier option on my editor. So the pattern that you see on here and on here is really from insects chewing the underside and the leaf begins to die off. So these are pretty much past their prime. So I'm going to harvest all the cucumbers on there. There's about six or eight and I'm going to replant. Maybe I'll put in peas, maybe I'll put in more cucumbers. There's no point in trying to save this plant. It's really beat up. You're better off just replanting. This is my second wave of cucumbers. Not as beat up as the one I just showed you. Definitely a problem. And again, that pattern, it's usually leaf hoppers. And oh, there's a better one. It's a little bit brighter. Let me hold that for a second. That's what you're looking for. And it's just chewing the undersides of the cucumber leaf, damaging them. So peppermint oil spray, great irritant, repels them. The soap, because they're tiny insects, soft body, that can kill them off. You can also spray spinosad underneath if you want to use um, something that's going to kill them off on contact. If you are spraying something that kills insects, Spray it early morning before the bees show up. Spray it late evening after the pollinators go away. I've not found peppermint oil or rosemary oil to harm bees or good insects. It's just really an irritant. It's really strong oils underneath that really irritate these smaller insects. 
and with the soap it kills them off. Thanks so much for watching. It's really important to understand what the patterns mean. So in this case, we know we're spraying for insects and we're not treating for a fungus. Please check out my blog, The Rusted Garden Journal. I'll do an article on this, give you a little bit more information, and I will put the uh, recipe mix in there for the rosemary oil and the peppermint oil. Thanks so much again for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. And if your cucumber plants get really beat up, of course try and save them, but after a while it's perfectly fine to pull them, put in another wave of cucumbers, and just let them do their thing. They mature really quickly when it's warm. Again, thanks for watching.